So today I wanted to talk about the use of portable flooring in laboratories. Some people think that might be kind of an oxymoron. Where, you know, most labs you, you think about using an epoxy, something that's seamless. But a lot of labs don't need that. Um, in fact, I, th I think a majority of labs don't need sort of the seamless uh, type of flooring. Um, and, and this is a good product for that. We call this Freestyle BioLock. Um, so there are a lot of reasons why you would consider using a portable removable floor in a laboratory setting. And one is if it's a renovation. Um, if you're doing an old space and converting it to a, um, a new lab, you need to do it quickly without disruption to the rest of your other labs and, and space and work and whatnot. This goes right over an existing floor. It's very flexible. It's got a lot of um, uh, resilience to it, so it'll cover bad, irregular floors. You can even put it over low pile carpet, uh, office carpeting. Um, so that's a really good purpose for it. Another is you might want to move it. Um, either it's a temporary lab or um, you might want to reconfigure the lab to a different kind of function at some point. Um, and this product gives you that flexibility. And the third is if you're putting it over, say, an access floor. And access floors, if you're not familiar with, are these pedestal systems. They go down first and they create sort of a fake floor that you can run all your utilities under to bring them to the workspace. That gives you a lot of flexibility in, in the design of the building. Uh, and then this would be a covering for that because it can be put down on top of the access panels, removed to give you access to the access panels. So those are some of the reasons why you would consider um, a portable removable floor in a lab space. And again, this is our product, Freestyle BioLock. Um, the way it's made, it has two uh, exposed interlocks and then two what we call overlapping interlocks. And the nice thing about this product and I have two assembled here, is that because of the overlapping feature of it, it gives you a very tight seam that is very liquid resistant. So in most applications, just installing it like this is perfectly adequate. Um, it's going to give you the tightness that you need um, and, and your functionality, portability, and all that. Super easy to put down, as I mentioned. Um, and, and again, a very good liquid resistant seam. There are situations where you might have, you know, a lot of flooding in the area or you might have big spills periodically and you want to take that into account. Um, and there is a way to use this product in, in that regard as well. We have a custom formulated silicone sealant, comes in caulking tubes, and you would do it to every tab and I'm just going to show you on one side. You just put down a very thin bead of it um, across the interlocks. It spreads out. Um, when you, when you press this into the, to the next tile, it, uh, that silicone disperses, spreads out, and then it cures. It's a, it's a chemical curing process, so it's going to harden inside there and create like a rubber gasket, which makes this seam completely liquid tight. We've tested it in a pretty uh, big test situation where we burned it, filled the area with liquid, I think it was over 300 square feet, uh, and then put a centrifuge on it. We had 800 pound um, cylinders of liquid nitrogen roll across it. We were dropping tools on it and it, became, it held completely liquid tight. The nice thing about this silicone is that it does not bond the tiles together. So if you ever did want to move it, remove it, the tiles simply peel apart. The gasket literally looks like a gasket peels out and you reapply it and, and you're good to go. So uh, it's a nice solution. Again, portability, removability, Free-floating uh, flooring is a very good concept for laboratories, um, and a lot of laboratories can use that, and this product is an ideal solution for that.